This is Daryl Scott. The technology tip for today from CS3 is using Excel with Acumatica. You can see on this chart, Excel is used for both getting data into your system and getting it out. We're going to take a brief look at each of these. Here we're looking at our general ledger journal entries, and in this particular instance is our August rental expense. This is a data entry screen and an inquiry screen, and here we can export the data in the grid to Excel. Data opens in Excel, resize the column so we can see everything, and here are our debits and credits. Now we're going to use this as an example to import it, and we know that our rental uh, costs in Virginia has gone up, so we make an adjustment here in our spreadsheet, save it, and then when we want to create a new journal entry, we have this button to load data from Excel. Pick up that journal entry that we just saved, take the defaults, and here's our $6,000 Virginia entry ready to be released. Next we want to take a look at import and export scenarios. The system is built so that every transaction and master table screen can be imported into. Building import and export scenarios can take a little practice and training, but they are powerful and the system's demo database contain around 40 sample scenarios that work. You can see some of them here. We look at the AR invoices import scenario, and it has a data provider. That data provider, import AR invoices, is an Excel provider. You can see that it's mapped to an Excel spreadsheet here, and the file template is available as a reference to create your own data import. Export scenarios are similar, also using data providers. The export AR data, export AR customers, again mapping to a template, and the sample template available. Import and export scenarios can use a variety of data sources. Most often the data source is an Excel workbook, but you can also have SQL databases, CSV files, XML files, and some specialized resources that are integrated with other systems. Reports are a good way to get information from your system. They can be sorted, summarized, and polished, ready for presentation. They allow you to filter the information you want. Every report in Acumatica can be exported to Excel for further analysis. Let's take a look. Every Acumatica module comes with a number of reports. Let's look at the inventory balance report. It allows us to put in parameters for to filter and limit the report, or we can run it and get the entire balance for all inventory. Every report can be exported to Excel. Similar to reports in Acumatica are generic inquiries. The demo database contains nearly 200 generic inquiries. Almost all the dashboard items you see have a generic inquiry as its foundation. Just like reports, every generic inquiry can be exported to Excel. Let me show you. Here we are looking at the controller dashboard from the demo database and each one of the objects on this dashboard has a generic inquiry underlying it. We click on this and here we have the generic inquiry and the export to Excel button. Lastly, you can retrieve data into Excel using OData. OData stands for Open Data Protocol. It's a geeky term, but basically it's a way to, for a web-based resource to share data. Let me show you how it works. First, you need to know that in Acumatica, any generic inquiry can be exposed as an OData resource by clicking the Expose via OData. Here we're looking at a generic inquiry that lists the, uh, the generic inquiries from the sample database that are exposed to OData. So let's look at how we can connect to this with Excel. In Excel, go to the Data ribbon, get external data from other sources from the OData data feed. Here, you need to put the URL for your Acumatic website, which in my demo environment here is just this. 
paste it in and put in slash o data at the end. Log in with your normal Acumatica credentials. Click Next. And this list is the same list we're looking at here. I'm going to select the invoiced items, take the defaults, and take the defaults again. And the data is being retrieved. And we have almost 5,000 records retrieved from our database. Using this data, I build a pivot table with a chart. But I want to show you that removing some of this data obviously affects the pivot table. But all I have to do is click Refresh All and the data from Acumatica is restored back to by nearly 5,000 rows. I'd like you to recognize that the data that I'm retrieving resides in the cloud. And I don't have to be logged in to Acumatica to retrieve the data. I have to have Excel connected to the, to the data, and I have to have credentials that allow me access to that Acumatica database, and then I can get my data anywhere I can get Excel onto the internet. Using Excel with Acumatica is pretty easy and pretty powerful. Please be sure to give us a like and hit the subscribe button for more tips like this.